tongues continue. If therefore the whole church, I have seen this before, my friend, the, the whole church be come together in one place and all speak with the tongues and there come in those that are unlearned or unbelievers, will they not say you're mad, you're crazy? But if all prophesy or preach and there come in one that believe not, or one unlearned, he is convinced of all, he is judge of all, and thrust out a secret of the heart may manifest. And so fall down on his face, he will worship God and report that God is in you the truth. Now Paul continues saying to this, my friend, I'm talking about the purpose of the tongues. These people are prophesying, uh, or, or let's say tongue talking, out of edification, out of ignorance, out of unlearned. And the Bible say, how is it then, brethren, when ye come together, every one of you have a Psalms, have a doctrine, have a tongue, have a revelation, have an interpretation, let all things be done unto edifying. If any man speak in an unknown tongue, let it be by two or most by three and that of course let it be be one interpret why paul but if there be a no interpreter let him or her keep silent in the church and let him speak to himself and to god why paul if anything be revealed to an to another that sit it by let the first hold his peace for he may all prophesy one by one that all may learn and all may be comforted the spirit what paul say the spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophet for god is not the author of confusion but of peace and in all churches of the saint what I'm saying to you in closing, my friend, the purpose of the tongue is in 1 Corinthians, the 14th chapter. And a lot of people need to, to read it and stop speaking to show off that you have the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is also the fruit of the Spirit, which is in Galatian. Hear me now. Galatian, the, the fifth chapter, verse, verse 22 and 23. So if people are speaking in tongue and they're an interpreter, the Bible says, shut up. Hey, glory to God.